Hey guys, thanks. For I had a conversation with somebody recently, and this has happened many, many times in a bunch of different contexts. I'll specifically the talk about what they mentioned, and this is in the context of being sued by a debt buyer. And that is this problem of saying, I don't have time to handle this problem on my own, and I don't have money to either settle it or hire a lawyer. So how do I fix it? And so let's talk about that. So question, I've been sued by a debt buyer, have no money to settle, no money to hire a lawyer. I don't have time to get ready to defend myself. What can I do? Well, here's the simple reality, and some people won't like this. They'll say, oh, you're being unkind, or you're being harsh, or you're being discouraging. No, I'm being encouraging, encouraging you to face reality. And, and when I say you, I mean, it may be you, or it may be your spouse has been sued, or your best friend's been sued, and you're trying to help them. You, you just have to understand that any problem, you're going to spend time, or you're going to spend money. So I had a problem with my car this weekend. It was terrible timing, okay? I mean, I had a packed schedule. I'm like, this is not the time for this to happen. Well, if I did nothing, then nothing would happen. It would stay broke. <laughs> if I said, well, I'm going to fix it myself. Well, I'm not a mechanic. I'm not mechanically inclined. I got to go educate myself on this, figure out how to do it. So I got to spend a lot of time. Or I've got to spend money. I couldn't sit there and go, I don't have time for this. I don't have the money for this. You know, if I'm short on time, then spend the money. If I'm short on money, spend the time. If I'm short on both, I got to figure out which one I'm going to, to sort of cut on so that I can, can spend either time or money. So remember this, you have five options when you're sued by a debt buyer. File bankruptcy. And some people say, see, you don't have to spend time or money. Well, you do have to spend money on a bankruptcy, pay a lawyer, filing fees, and there's a huge cost involved for your life after you file bankruptcy. Uh, what if you fight it on your own? Well, you got to spend time getting ready. What if you settle it on your own? You got to spend money and some time, but mainly money to pay. What if you hire a lawyer to fight it? Well, you're going to be spending money, maybe time, depending on how the lawyer does it. How about if you hire a lawyer to settle it? Well, you're definitely spending money, may spend money on the settlement. So, You've got to look at these, and the point of this video is not to go through these five options in detail. We have other videos for that. But just say, whatever you're doing, you're spending time or you're spending money. Now, if we say, well, I don't want to do either. No time, no money. Well, then you're going to lose. And then what's going to happen? Well, in Alabama, that's what this video is for, is Alabama, we have wage garnishment. Now, some states don't have that. What does wage garnishment mean? Well, as a practical matter, it means about 25% of your take-home pay disappears. It goes to court, and then they send it to the, the debt collector that sued you. And so I'll have somebody, and I'll say, look, you've been sued for $5,000. And they say, well, I want to settle it on my own. I don't want to pay you as a lawyer. Okay. You're going to pay them probably three grand. Oh, I don't have three grand. I'm like, well, can you get it? No, absolutely not. Impossible. No way I can get it. Okay, have you thought about trying it on your own? I have tons of resources to help you. You know, you can educate yourself. Spend time doing this. Go to watch your judge in, in court dealing with these types of cases. You can read stuff. You can watch video. They go, John, John, I am too busy for that. I do not have time to do that. You don't understand. I got family obligations. I got social obligations. I got work obligations. I do not have time to do that. Well... Let's think about what happens if you lose. They say, well, I don't have any money. They can't take it. I'm like, well, what's your take-home pay? So said, about $2,000 every paycheck. Okay. Well, they'll take $500 every paycheck. They go, what? $500? There's no way. I can't pay my mortgage. If I don't have a mortgage, I don't have a place to live. I can't pay my car. If I don't have a car, I can't go to work. I can't make money. You know, my kids are in all these activities. I got a kid in college. I got to pay for that. I mean, they just have to understand, John, that there's no money. They can't garnish me. That's not how it works. They take the money, and then you figure out how to live on the rest. And sometimes it takes us, we're, we're dealing with somebody, and, and look, these are good people, and they're just sort of caught in this loop. Like, I don't have money. I don't have time. I don't have money. I don't have time. Well, I, I, I got to figure out another solution. I don't have money. I don't have time. 
And it's like we almost have to shake them. And so, you know, psychologists might call this breaking their state, just breaking their pattern. And, and say, you're going to lose $500 every paycheck. And sometimes that snaps them out of it where they go, oh, wow, I, I didn't realize it was that serious. So now let's reevaluate. Do you have time to get ready for a trial? Because if you don't, you're going to lose $500 every paycheck. Well, maybe I could stay up a little bit later. Maybe I could get up an hour early every day. Yeah, maybe you could. Or do you have money to be able to hire a lawyer or to go settle this on your own? Like, well, not really, but I certainly don't have $500 every paycheck. So, you know, sometimes when we put it in perspective, we see maybe I do have time. Maybe I do have money. And look, I'm like everybody else. I got obligations. I got, you know, a lot of demands financially, time-wise. But when something comes up, I mean, at some point, you got to just suck it up and say, well, you know what? I'm going to stay up late. I'm going to get up early. I'm going to cut my spending here. or I'm going to go get the money somehow. I'm going to figure out how to, to carve out the time to learn how to do something. Whatever it is, you just get it done. I mean, think about a family member has a medical crisis. Do you say, well, look, I'd really love to be at the hospital with you. I just don't have any time. I mean, you know, you, you call 911, you get them to the hospital, and somebody goes, well, what about your obligations? You had a full day. Well, you know, we'll figure it out later. Well, you, you got to pay for that emergency, or maybe it's, you know, your car breaks down. Well, you figure out how to get the money. So anything we're doing, we've got to spend time to solve it, or we have to spend money. Sometimes it's both. Sometimes you know, it's sort of a sliding scale. The more money I spend, the less time. Maybe the more time I spend, the less money. But the point is, we've got to take some action, and we've got to do something. Otherwise, we lose. And this is true in a foreclosure context. It's true being sued by a debt collector. Whatever it is where we're facing a crisis, facing a real serious problem, figure out, do you have time? Do you have money? So I don't have time, well, then spend the money. I don't have money, well, then spend the time. If you don't have either, then figure out how to get some, either of one or both, to get this thing solved. So I hope that that's helpful. I hope it's encouraging to you just to say, you know what? Remember, you got to spend time or you got to spend money. It's one or the other. If we can help you, 205-879-2447 or alabamaconsumer.com or you can click on contactjohnwatts.com. It'll send a message directly to me. It'll take you to our contact page on our website. And yeah, the context here is about debt collection lawsuits. This is for folks in Alabama. If you're outside of Alabama, I can't help you with your debt collection case. That's different if you're suing a debt collector. I may can work with a lawyer in your state. We may can sue them in Alabama. But in any event, if you're sued in some other state, get with a lawyer in your state and maybe they have a different approach, and that's wonderful. But I'm telling you, from my experience handling hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these cases over many, many years, you're going to spend time or you're going to spend money. And that's just the reality of it. All right. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.